Okay, we are recording. All right, editing Kendra here. I realized I never had an intro to this video. I'm sorry if this is a little shaky. I'm just holding up my lap or my my iPad here. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be painting the dresser that is now behind me. A little sneak peek of the after. And I also did my desk, my jewelry box, and the chair that's by my desk. I spent almost two full days on this project. Or I really got a DIY bug and just wanted to get this done as soon as possible. I have never done a project like this, so I'm sorry to all you professionals out there who might watch and be like, what in the heck does this girl think she is doing? She's doing it completely wrong. Maybe I did. I just gathered a few tips here and there from YouTube and just small projects I've done before. I've never really done this scale of a project. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So here you can see what the dresser uh, looked like before I painted it. The desk was also the same color, which you'll see later. The first thing I'm doing is just emptying out all of those clothes, taking out the drawers just so I can move that dresser outside. <laughs> It's a heavy one, so I definitely could not carry it by myself. I got my boyfriend and his buddy who lives with us. They carried it down there for me. <laughs> so the first thing I'm doing here is just taping up the chair and also adding paper um, on the bottom just so I didn't get spray paint all over the bottom of the chair. Uh, this was the hardest part of painting was the prep work. I know that the prep work is the most annoying part, but it's also the most important part if you want your project to look good. Now, here I'm taping all over again, and I also spray painted the bottom legs of that dresser gold. The other thing I messed up on here, you can see that the very first coat of primer I used, I forgot to stir it. So I basically did a whole first coat over all the drawers for nothing. So I ended up doing probably three to four coats of primer since I messed up the first one. And then I did the same thing on the dresser. And then I went over that with just like a regular white paint from Walmart. I just made sure to get interior paint and I got a semi-gloss finish. Um, the primer I'm using is a bin primer, um, Emmeline from Our Little Nest. I know we've mentioned their channel before, I think, in my top YouTubers video. I will link it below, but that is what she recommended for primer, so that's what I used. Honestly, like, if you want some really good DIY videos, please go check out her channel, because she is way better than mine, but that's where I got the inspiration from. I did also want to mention that I did try using roller on the side of the desk, but I hated how the texture looked, so I just switched to using a brush for everything. As you can see, my jewelry box is sitting over there. I also did just two coats of primer on the jewelry box and then just one coat of paint. This is the next day. I had laid out the dresser and the drawers just overnight to dry and I put a sheet over it just so that the dew wouldn't get on it in the morning. Um, I am prepping my desk here and I use spray paint on the legs as well. I'm not exactly sure what brand. I just got my spray paint from Walmart and I actually ended up using a matte version on the legs of the desk and a metallic version on everything else. The other thing, I like looked to the camera when I did it, but obviously it's a time lapse and you couldn't see it, but there was that white stripe on the front of the desk. That was just from the painter's tape, so clearly the finish on these desks are not the best quality. They're just cheap from Target. Um, the dresser I did find linked, but I cannot find the desk anymore, so I apologize for that. I'm sure they have something something similar. Next thing I'm going to be doing is just measuring all of the drawers there, and I also measure the drawer on the desk. Um, that way I knew exactly where my hardware needed to go and where I needed to dr drill holes for all of the hardware pieces. So this is a full overview here. That is my jewelry box. I also used just a little bit of sandpaper on the edges just to give it 
a little bit more of a worn look it had that originally and I will put in some photos some before and after photos as well and then I did put a clear like plastic topper on this just to protect the top because I do my makeup on this dresser all the time and I know that my paint job is not the best in the world so I just wanted to protect the tops of them from getting all scuffed up or chipped or anything like that so I figured that was a good idea I also put on these gorgeous vintage looking knobs and poles because the dresser did not have any hardware before so that is how this looks now it so has brightened up this area and I just love it Now this is a final overview of the desk here. As you can see, um, I put the other two vintage knobs on the desk and I also painted the legs of the desk there and the chair. They were originally like silver, so this gold turned out beautiful. And I also put a topper on the desk as well. I just think even though I can tell some of the things that didn't quite go so well during this project, I think the end result looks fairly decent for what I was going for and for having never done this before in my life. So turned out good. Thumbs up. So that is all for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me through this process. Again, I've never done this before, so I do think that it turned out really good for what I was imagining in my head. Um, let me know if you guys have ever done any DIY projects. Have they turned out good or have they turned out bad? Have you done one this big before? Let's hear it. Also, don't forget to check out uh, our little nest. I'll link her down below. Her name is Emily and she is super sweet and her DIY videos are just mm, they're just the best. Chef's kiss. So again hope you guys enjoyed. Have a happy day.